Hi fifth graders, here's the second video in our order of operations unit. Just a reminder, we're using gems as a way to figure out which operations do we do first when we're given an equation that has multiple operations. First step is our grouping symbols. Check your problem, does it have any parentheses, braces, or brackets? Second, are there any exponents that you need to solve? Third, look for multiplication and division in the equation and work from left to right. Last but not least, subtraction and addition. Again, you work from left to right as you solve those problems. All right, you may have noticed already by looking at the equation on the right side of your screen that I have made these a little more challenging. Instead of just two operations, you're now being asked to solve three operations. So the first step, just like you learned in your last lesson, is go through and identify all your operations first. Now we're going to go to our GEMS poster on the left-hand side of your screen, and we're going to work through and ask ourselves, do we have any of the steps? Do we have any grouping symbols? Do you see any parentheses? No. So we're going to cross that out. Do we have any exponents, those little numbers that are next to larger whole numbers? No, we don't have any of those. Do we have any multiplication or division? Yes, in this case, we have both multiplication and division. Do we have any addition or subtraction? Yes, we have a subtraction problem. Okay, so we're gonna be focused on these last two rows of our poster. Now, the reason I gave you this problem is I wanted you to understand because we have both division and multiplication and those fall on the same row, we have to do them in order from left to right. Do you remember this part here? Left to right. So the way this works is because the division problem comes first. It's on the left side of the problem. We do that one first. Then we'll do the multiplication problem. So watch as I work through the steps. So we have 30 divided by 2. And you can always go over to the side and solve the problem if you can't do that in your head. 2 goes into 3 one time. 1 times 2 is 2. Subtract, I have 10. 2 goes into 10 five times. 10, and I subtract, and I'm left with 0. So I know my answer. First one is 15. Remember last video how I showed you I rewrite the problem. Now I just did this problem, so I need to rewrite the rest. Minus 5 times 2. Okay, ask yourself again, which operation will come first? Subtraction or multiplication? Multiplication comes next. Okay, it's on the same level as that division, but we did division first because that was on the left side of the problem, and then we work our way right. So this is 15 minus, and then here's the next problem, 5 times 2. I know that's 10. Now I solve my subtraction problem. 15 minus 10 is 5. And my final answer for this original equation would be 5. Let's try it again. All right, this time, remember our first step always, identify your operations. So we have subtraction, subtraction, and division. I don't have any grouping symbols. I don't have any exponents. I do have a division problem. And I do have a subtraction problem. I actually have two subtraction problems. So which do we do first, subtraction or division? Hopefully you realize that division is going to come first. So let's work through the problem. 9 minus 7 minus, and here's my first problem, 6 divided by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. Now I have two subtraction problems, but which do I do first? Do you guys remember what I highlighted before? Left to right. So remember, left is here, right is here. 
Which problem am I going to do first, 9 minus 7 or 7 minus 1? If I'm working left to right, 9 minus 7 will come first. So let's work that out. 9 minus 7 is 2, and then I bring down the rest of the problem. 2 minus 1 is 1. So my final answer for this entire problem would be 1.